Alabama lawmakers want to improve race relations in the state, but that may involve change some may not agree with. In part two of our series on race relations, ABC 3340's Byron Khalil examines what Alabamians say we need to do to move the state forward. Alabama's constitution dates back to 1901. Well, that 1901 constitution had racist language in it, not only to African Americans, um, but other communities of color um, refer to Native Americans as Indians and, um, you know, people of Asian descent as Chinamen. And so we needed to do something to bring this document into the 21st century. Representative Marika Coleman is the lead sponsor of Amendment 4. It aims to remove racist language from the state's constitution. Last November, 67% of Alabama voters said yes to move forward with the Amendment 4 initiative. Some want more. We could do better. And that's a big part of, you know, stunning our growth is that constitution. It's time to get some people in there that represent this Alabama get them in there, let them rewrite that constitution. One thing not on the November ballot, but has crept its way into conversations, Confederate holidays. Alabama recognizes Confederate Memorial Day, Jefferson Davis's birthday, and Robert E. Lee's birthday, the latter of which is celebrated along with Martin Luther King Day. It should definitely be separate from Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday celebration, which I feel is an insult to Dr. King. Robert Castello is the owner of the Dixie General Store in Heflin. I think they should stay. I look at it the same as I do the, the monuments. People may disagree with my view, but I believe I have a right to have that and to make sure that my ancestors and the people who from the South are in our heritage is respected. Castello believes not all change is good. You know, everybody's wanting to wipe out this history. I don't see the hate that they portray. I have people walk in the store. They don't say, they don't say ugly things. They don't hate people. I'm not going to say there aren't a few. There's always a few everywhere that don't, you know, have problems with other people. But I just don't sense that here. So what does the future hold? We're a great state. We got great people, but we have uh, some ugly, ugly things in our past that we need to rectify. I'm willing to accept different views. Is just don't. I can't accept that you have a right to tell me what to believe or tell me what to honor. Just like I don't have a right to tell another person what to value. Just if we can understand each other and respect that, then we probably get along a little better. We've learned a lot about each other in the last year, but the struggle continues to understand different viewpoints and to keep these tough conversations going. In Birmingham, Byron Khalil, ABC 3340 News. Officially removing the racist language from Alabama's constitution will come only after a vote within the legislature and then another vote from the public in 2022. You can find this story and part one of this special report on race relations on our website at abc3340.com.